Welcome to Boaties 10 million GP Nuke Challenge. The goals for this series are on screen. These are the kill streaks that will aid me along the challenge and the kill streaks I need to unlock. These are the current kill streaks I have activated. Extra kill bonuses are shown on screen now. These are the current statistics for so far of the series, and I hope you enjoy this episode. What's going on, guys? Boat here. Welcome to episode one of my 10 million nuke challenge. And today we will just be. Well, I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm just going to go straight peek in and hopefully bring a decent first episode to you all want more, really. But first of all, I'd like to do a bit of talk about what this series does. So, of course, I'm starting with the kill streaks that I already have, which is 10 million cash, which is there. Yes! And I also have my Cow's Crossbow, the Fire Cape, and the Amulet of Fury. And of course, I can bank what I want. But this 10 mil, I have to start with that and only that, which means I need to choose my PKing supplies very, very carefully. Because if that depletes, it will be a long time to make money back. And I kind of really just have to buy the necessary supplies for PK and then hopefully PK well and slowly unlock the more powerful gear to make this a lot more easier for me. So, running with what I've got now, let's just go and buy some supplies, really, and see where I get to. So I believe, uh, first of all, the best thing uh, to do really is just to buy a ton of things for PK. So I'm probably going to end up spending about 8 mil of this. Leave 2 mil in there if I have any items that I just suddenly decide I want to get. But I'm going to buy myself some melee gear. I'm going to leave that to the side for now. I'm going to start with melee. Just see where I can get with that. So it's going to be some basic gear. I can't even get rune defenders yet. need to get some kills to get some rune defenders. But I also need to buy avenge runes, potions, food and stuff like that. So I do need to be very careful with this money. So let's just see what I can buy. So, first things first, this will last me quite a long time, but it's probably the most important thing I need for PK, so I will be buying myself a thousand rock tails. And why am I not buying sharks? Because the more deaths I have, the bigger the cost will be buying that stuff back. So there is 1,000 rock tails bought, leaving me with just over, well if I add that to the pouch now, just over 7 million to spend. So let's buy some dragon weapons and get hold of some armour. Okay, so that's what I've bought so far, which is kind of just the basic supplies needed really to PK. So if I create myself a new tab, purposely to this episode, I'm going to bank everything in it. But I believe some items will go straight out, which will be my fire cape and going into the main tab. But what I'd also like to say is I do actually have Barris Gloves. And instead of spending them, I'm going to withdraw 200k. And I'm just going to put, it's actually 203k, so I'm not cheating there. 203k, I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to claim myself two Barris Gloves from what I already have. So uh, that's my gear to start off with. Badass! But first, I'm going to buy myself some recalls and obviously the potions, but I'm actually going to get myself the Audi Click 4 for the stab bonus, which I think will be the best cape I can use at the, at the moment until I get the fire cape, really, which hopefully I'll get soon instead of dying lots of times. But I'm going to buy some potions now, and I've still got 6.2 mil, so I'm kind of fine for the money to start with. Okay, so I bought myself the Vengeance Runes, and I've actually spent quite a lot of the bank on the potions, but I have so many supplies for PKing that I should be fairly good for supplies for a while to PK with. So the last thing I need now are Recoil Rings, and then I'll quickly go get my Audi Cloak, and then I should be fine. Oh, the peasants. Okay, first fight, fighting a guy in full Darrocks. So this may be a rather... What way can I put here? A bit of a dry fight, because this fight will probably last like two to three minutes long, maybe, depending if I KO him, of course. Just realized my screen recorder is out of sync. I'm going to change that now, but because of this ridiculously high defense bonus in Dark, which is actually. Ooh, never mind. Wow, a 352 just dropped his health in half. Go to H! Yeah. I don't expect to hit very high in this guy, even though he's like 480 HP, even, so I could just kill him in one DDS spec if I was very lucky. It won't happen because I'm extremely unlucky when it comes down to Darks. Doesn't matter though because we're going to wait for him not to Rambo move with an axe. I'll just venge his axe fam pretty well on the timing here. So, as you can see, it's very hard to commentate a fight list because all I do is sit here hitting zeros. That is a glass brewing pipe. Uh, I just really, I just have to wait until I actually get close to get, killing him and then I can actually do something exciting. Don't kill me though. That will not be exciting, but, yep, as you can see, a minute in, and I've eaten two food, is it now? And he's eaten, like, one. Boo! That is very unfortunate that I did not hit higher. <laughs> <coughs> and that's not bad, that's not bad. Right, okay, is he going to risk it? Of course he isn't. Chomp on extra food. No, go away, Scorpion. Hey, should we just go for a Rambo? <gasps> Yeah, I think we all expected that, to be fair. Even I expected that, so... Nothing exciting I can do. I mean, this is probably the most boring commentary ever watching. Of course, I lower his health on the Vengeance. Not on the Vengeance, sorry. When he got the Dark Axe out. Come on. Yes. 
Yes, Narnia! Okay, not Narnia, because this game is very unfortunate. That was a nice risk. Well, not really a nice risk. We're not going to be risking that. We all know he's going to pop like a 500 billion on me. I'm guessing this guy's like 80 attack and 80 strength. I should avenge that shield on. Wow, this guy has god mode. I think we can finally choose that this guy has actually indeed got god mode. Right, I have a avenge on, so come on. Yeah, that was kind of pointless there. I was hoping for a good hit. If I hit really high, my Venge could have took him out. Why waste my vengeance, you peasant? Why are you standing next to a tree? Why has that guy got a tribal mask on? Sneaky! Ooh, I hate it when that stuff happens. Like, as soon as I attack him, I've hit the damage to like half kill him, really. No, 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 no. You don't. Boom! Yes! Got a kill there. But as you can see, very boring to fight Dark. But I actually got a kill. Give me that dragon longsword and one kill streak, so that is very nice. So anything useful here that can save money on, might as well get these prayer potions while I'm here and the super strength potions. And I should be back in a moment with another fight. Okay, next fight, get the protect from whatever on, but this guy has a nice fight to torso, so it's uh, rather scary, but if I get a nice Venge combo in there, I can kill him rather quickly, but he can also kill me, and because he has a fight at torso, actually, he probably does not have claws or any of that scary stuff, that's very, actually, very scary, so that can be, like, scratched from this commentary, I didn't actually say that. So, we'll just ignore it. Anyway, so, we're waiting patiently. He's only two specs down, which is very friendly. So, let's hope I don't max on his vengeance, or he maxes on me like that, as he did. I'm fine, though, because i got a nice double eat in there. Ooh, when I get my Dragon Mace, I'm going to be using that beast of a thing, because it is actually a tank. He's got a D Dragon Battle Axe as well, 4 2 3, probably can, but I'm going to risk it, because he can't that often, so... Pointless to... Wow. If I had a D2H... I mean, sorry, a Dragon Ballads, I would not have hit that. But anyway, it's a good fight to him. I enjoyed that variety of weapons there. Probably not the best timing for me to die, to be honest. So I got one kill. I have fairly decent supplies left. So I'll be back in like 13 seconds with another fight. Okay, next fight. Accidentally protecting from melee there. But that last fight did not go very well. But it was kind of unfair to... Ooh, if I got two hit then... If I spawned without that Dragon 2 I would not have been very happy. But Auto Retaliate has saved my life. 53. I'm not going to do much damage without my... Um, never mind. That was a nice little Venge combo in there. But as I was trying to say, I'm not going to do much damage without a... Dueling... Oh, sorry, not a Dueling Wing. A... Um, thinking, 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 thinking. A Rune Defender. So until I earn that Rune Defender, I can't really do much damage. But as I already have my 200 Warrior Guilds token, I will probably go earn one later on once I've earned myself a probably have higher kill streak so that I'm not losing loads of defenders. But thanks for that team cape. I'm back in a moment. Okay, next fight. Fighting once again a hated item by me. Which is the Obsidian Shield. So, good luck to my life. Good luck to his. Well, no, not good luck to his life. Because if his life is good, I might die. And if I die, I won't be happy. <gasps> Staying alive. Very scared. I actually predicted he would pull a God Sword then. But, of course, I didn't act upon it. <sighs> One day, my D2H will hit when I do a kind of like a obscure No, I don't even know if that's a word, but it is now. Come on! The Soaking! The soaking made him live. <laughs> now I'm dying of coughing. Oh, this game, right? Don't pull a god sword. He's pulling a god sword. Boom. No, he's not. No, now he is. This guy, man, he's impossible to predict. I'm scared. Oh, right. He's no specs left, so now I'm in the, the good side of the fight. Is the good side of the fight a word? As soon as we hit Oh, D skim, you absolute beast. Good fight to that guy. And it's an abyssal whip in there, which is very nice loot. Check and sell for a fair hefty amount of GP in there. So any team capes? Yes, but it's changed colour. Ring of Recall, might as well take that. Get some Rock Tails, some Prayer Potions. I'm fine, so I'll be back in a minute with another fight, guys. Okay, next fight, fighting a guy three levels higher who's practically a max Rune Pure. So this will be very, very scary if he has a Armadil Death Sword hidden in that Rune Kite Shield of his. They are scary when they pull them out when I'm not ready for them. But so far, 60 attack is doing damage. So let's just... Oh, let's just get into this. Right, okay, come on. Here we go. Boom, Venge hit back. Right, I've definitely Venge because I did actually just use a spec to try and save my Venge. So if I use a spec now, the Venge combo is beautiful and didn't really work. But if the Venge combo was there, might have slayed his eyes, but of course it wasn't there. I'm even Vengeance. Right, okay, let's save this Vengeance for the correct moment of painful special attacks. So we're going to be waiting for this. And so far the 60 attack is gone because I'm now... 
on the spot here, giving it, once the 60 attack actually manages to hit, boom, everything comes out. Now he's Venge, so I have to be careful he doesn't with part of God's sword, that will do nicely. Oh, that was a magnificent vengeance combo, but another Abyssal Whip, which means he must have had some scary object hidden in his uh, Rune Kite shield, as I said. But anyways, um, another kill, I'll add that to the pouch in a moment, but I shall be back in a moment with another fight. And as you can see, I'm now on a three kill streak, so I've unlocked my Carol's crossbow, but I will, I don't think I'm gonna use the crossbow at the moment. I think I'm gonna save up for the Fiori army. I think I'm gonna use that first. Possibly the fire cape, but as I'm using a DDS, I think I'm going to just use the Fiori amulet. So I'll have that Phoenix necklace. Okay, next fight, another God Sword, and can he two hit me? He probably could have, and it's very, very scary to hit, sit here on such low health when he's got a God Sword out. Okay, and uh, one more on that, and then uh, no point using Avenge. If I hit, I would Avenge, but I didn't hit, so uh, people always ask me, how do I time Vengeance so well now? Sometimes I just click the Vengeance randomly. And I get lucky, and it looks really pro, but if I click it now, he's going to spec me and kill himself. But as you can see here, zero, so I could have killed him, but I didn't, so... <gasps> Beast of a spec! D2H, finish his eyes. Oh, I don't want to double spec with a dagger. I know, really, it does it does hit really well, but I, just, I mean, right, this is the moment you should do it. Right, I'm Venge, so if I turn around and DDS him, I could have killed him. He's also Venge, and the D2H is failing! Why are you failing? I don't know why you're failing. Oh, I've avenged. Oh, I've done it again. Zero. But I've got another vengeance that's um, working, so if I can get a really good moment to time it, then I will. <gasps> I just was looking at my screen then, expecting the wrath to kill me, because I knew it was going to, but I was pretty lucky there that it only hit a 10. Good fight to that guy anyway, and I have now unlocked my fire cape. Yes, and um, I think I will... No, I'm not going to put the fire cape on now. I will just... I'm going to keep my Audi Cloak, and then when I unlock the Fiori on me, I will probably use that, and then drop my D2H, so I don't lose too much, really. So I shall be back in a second. Okay, next fight, fighting a Ranger. And it looks like he has fairly high risk, which means if I kill this guy, pretty much when I make these types of series where money is... a uh, like vital to me. These are the best fights for me to have because if I kill them, I get really good loot. I'm just going to be protective on that one because if I did actually max on his vengeance, probably could have killed myself there. That was a bit of a safe, I'll admit, but he's still venged. I mean, we know what's going to happen. I've lost some skull actually. So, 392, he can easily hit that. 292, see how I called that? Right, anyways, any day soon I'll hit. Right, I could have venged and killed him. And so far, I'm like down a bazillion food. I don't have done anything yet. But we'll just wait patiently for his Carol's Crossbow to stop hitting amazingly well into my eyes. Worst vengeance timing in the world. <gasps> Dragon Dagger! Never mind. The D -D Dragon Dagger is sucking. So is the Venge combo. And so is probably the D2H. Come on. Risking. 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 Pointless risks because I'm going to die to a rusher in a moment. I'm going to die to that rusher. I'm going to cry. <gasps> ah, right. Come on. Don't want to die on my kill streak now. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. That was a bit over the top there. Come on. Uh, we are waiting patiently for a high hit. We're going to risk the Digital Age. Slap! Slapped him across the face with it, but it sucked. And he's Venge, so if I watch my health very, very, very carefully now, and I time it when I hit him and he hits me, my Vengeance should keep my... Well, not my Vengeance, my Rock Tail should keep me alive. <gasps> Stop hitting a 200+. plus. My Chaotic Crossbow hits nothing, and I use Rigor with it. That's how bad it is. And, nope, not a brew, but I'm out of food, kind of, so I have to eat twice. Come on. No! No way! Did he just hit a zero on me? I feel like killing someone's fate. Yes, 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 yes! Come on! Don't be gay. Don't be a lesbian. Oh, this is so lesbianic, man. Yes. Put that on. No, 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 take it off! I don't have a charge! No, 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 this is a, this is, this is a scary moment, run at him, no, yes. Okay, next fight, boom, good start with the zero on that hit, but here we go, I think I'm benched, and I believe he is venged too, so maybe I'll get a nice, like, 400 with my D skim now, and then he'll hit my vengeance, but there's a good venge timing for you all, <gasps> slice him, and I hit a zero, keep the combo going though, you shouldn't, you shouldn't actually eat every time you see, like, the moment to eat, because if you, normally when you eat at like a panic eat kind of thing on low health, you get a really, really good combo. Which means if you risk it, you can actually combo them out. So seriously, take it one step further as long as you can time it where they're not going to max on you. Like I shouldn't have risked that, but I did. 369, 10 soak, he would have died. But 
to be fair, I was very lucky there as well. So I'm not going to scream about it. But yeah, uh, as for taking risks, I mean, I'm going for a 25 kill streak right here, and I'm still taking loads of risks because risks make PK fun. Like I'm dead now. See, I'm gonna die. I'm getting scared. Oh, this this guy is scary. He never hits low. <gasps> Why be vengeance? Dizzy witch. Right, that's the moment we should eat. Depending on the speed of the weapon, of I'm giving you like a PK challenge tip kind of thing during this video. Blah. But um, of course, the G2H has such a slow delay on it that it is worth to eat. Oh, I thought I actually thought he was about to drop then. I was getting very, very happy. <laughs> I would have been happy. I'm, like, I'm not going to get a whip off this guy. But he hits 300 plus a lot, doesn't he? And now he's on like 7,000 health. It's going to take me three trees to kill him. Oh, let's wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is it, this is it. That was a bad venge combo, but... Oh, he's venge as well. <sighs> We're both venge as well. Right, okay. This is uh, kind of boring. <gasps> Please. Oh, D2. I am going to alk you in a moment, sir. You best be careful to me. Uh oh, that's a dragon dagger. So if I put... Oh, did I just brew? Why? I didn't click it. Oh, I guess I did. Right, okay. Bad timing, but if it did hit high, then I would have survived. Not a good timing to Venge. Not a good timing for anything. Oh, good timing to risk! <sighs> this is a very, very scary fight. Come on, hit him! Oh, game! Oh, he's out of food and I'm out of food. He's Vengeance and I'm... Come on, don't wrath me now. This is unfair. Oh, recoil. Thank you very much, Karassi. Hello there, Karassi. Right, I have to loot extremely fast. No, I'm not. I'm teleporting. I will run back for that loot. But anyways, good fight to that guy. Respect for the DM. Seriously, I don't see that much these days. But it's great. And as you can see, I am now on my five kill streak, which means I can bust my Fury out the bank and have some fun with that. So I shall be back in a minute. Okay, next fight. And this peasant decided to attack me and hit a 350 on me. He's lucky I'm not Venge because I would not have been happy. But anyways, small change around for this fight. I now have the Amulet of Fury on, which means I've dropped the D2H. Because I don't really want to be risking about a million GP first. So, uh, of course, if I get a couple more fights, maybe get to like a 7 kill streak or so, I think I'll pull the D2H back out with the Fury on me. So, we just have to hope I don't die at the moment, really. So, if I Venge there, I don't have a D2H, so it's pretty hard to get kills. It's all down to a really, really good Venge combo. I'm sure I clicked the DDS then, but it didn't actually hit. So, if I spec now, I mean, I could take him off 350 health if I hit high, but I didn't. And, of course, he hits very low. Oh, my Vengeance, I am extremely... Lucky. <sighs> you know, sometimes I am very, very lucky to these Armadale God Sworders. He should have pulled his God Sword out and then he probably could have took me out. But going back to that Venge combo rule where I'm on low health, I'm risking it. And of course, it doesn't really follow through, so yeah. Right, okay. Venge his God Sword? Nope. I want to try and teach you all how to Venge combo. I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm the best at it, but I get so many comments saying you're so good at timing vengeances and such. But, yeah, I mean, I would say I'm good at timing vengeance. I've been, I learnt to time vengeances back when you'd have to hover over the scale and non-hotkey to the venge to time it. So, with XP drops, it is so easy to do. God sorting. No, he's not. Wasted a brew because I wasn't watching his health, but it's all good. If he God sorted me now, I'm, I'm just waiting patiently for him to God sword me. There we go. And that is unfortunate. Wow. I don't understand how people can hit so high with such a little strength bonus sometimes. But, anyways, back to a zero kill streak, unfortunately. So I'll be grabbing my D2H back out again now. Okay, next fight, zero kill streak. I'm PKing in full rune. When was the last time I PKed in full rune? And I could have gone for the uh, two hit venge combo there, but I actually hit a zero on my next vengeance. So there wasn't really a point to it. But now we're going to wait patiently for a 148. Boom! Zero. Okay. Zero with the combo as well. I may go and get some uh, defenders in a moment. Why yeah, zero? Ooh, this guy has got some survival powers. Why can't I hit? Move, Dark. Get out of my brain. Oh, now he's on like a trezillion health. Which means I should eat to stay safe. I'm going to eat twice. Don't be pulling claws out. I hate these people using the stupid Sean Alex move of Doomsday because it brings Doomsday upon my health bar and it just sucks. Don't even rambo my face off. Right. Sanfi Serum. Keep the prayer high. Keep the poison off me. Keep the Dragon 200 at the ready. Ooh, I should have risked it then. Yeah, I kind of knew he was going to eat because his health was obviously lower than mine. And I obviously had the first hit. But I was going to max on his vengeance. Of course I was going to max on his vengeance. See what I mean? Sit there for the whole fight, billion zero zero, bam, vengeance, bam, I'm max on his face, don't rambo. This isn't going well, is it? I'm getting rambo now. Anyways, uh, I've got plenty of supplies, kind of, now I'm losing them all, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I actually turned the recorder off as I teleported, but I was teleblocked, because I was fighting some polypore guy, and yeah, I didn't know it was so brilliant, now I'm on another death, I'm running out of money. This isn't going well. Okay, I am not doing well. I have died 
four times in a single commentary. That is currently tying my most Fs in any commentary ever. So I need to turn this around. So first, I'm going to sell off PK because I'm, I'm out of supplies. Seriously, I've just lost everything because I'm just getting very unlucky deaths and such. But, um, quickly sell this. Might have made myself another 2 mil off that and I'll have to rebuy some gear and such. But this seriously is probably just putting you all off the series. You're probably all thinking right now, like, yeah, you are never going to get a 25 kill streak. I will do it. But seriously, this is giving the worst first impression. I'm going to keep that rune though. I'll just use that and PK with it. So, got myself an extra... 2 mil or so, that's decent, I can PK with that, let's get rid of that rune gold skirt, but um, that's like cheaper than the bloody rune legs, give me that back. But yeah, uh, I'll be back in a second. Russia has been spotted, let us produce some damage, come on, come on, oh, zero, 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 he's not even eating, I could just double 300 him and he'd be dead, I just can't hit it, look at that, that's ridiculous, if that was, if that was Tesco K then, every hit would have been 500 plus. Okay, next fight, and um, I have to be a bit quieter because my parents are screeching at me and my brother is not feeling well. So he's trying to get some sleep, so I have to be quiet. And I did actually say that last clip, but I deleted last clip, so we're just sat here waiting for the Venge combo. That would have been a decent time, but as you can see, he hit a zero, so I'm not a Vengeance wasted. But I probably would have screamed at my TV at the fact that, uh, well, not TV, but computer. But anyways, the dagger has expired his life. How did he survive that? Someone tell me. How did he survive that? How did he survive that? I did about 500 damage, and yeah, he survived. So, we're not going to talk about that, and of course I can't screech at my TV, so it's a computer, I'm not doing very well commentating this clip, and I have to be quiet. I can't, but you'll be seeing the different side of Boaty commentary here, because I have to sit here and be very, very quiet. I swear, if this guy is a 551, I'm just going to leave, I'm just going to get up and just leave my room, I don't even care, because I'm not dying four times in a row. No, thank you. That, my friends, is a granite mall. It's alright, he didn't hit the 551. This is not good. Notice how I hit 100 zeros in a row, and then max on his vengeance. But yeah, this is not going well. Seriously, five deaths, six kills, and yeah, I have the money though, so I'm fine. One minute. Okay, next fight. Good start, maxing on him straight away. But he's in a full dark skull. He's gonna PJ me, and he's pro. Oh, good. He's gonna PJ. Oh, no, I'm fine. Be right back with Rag. Go for it. I'll just hot wheel. It takes me 30 seconds. I don't know why. Seriously, I don't understand, Rag is going dark me now, dark me now. Yes, 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 go on, continue. Dang it! Oh, zero, zero. Obby shield and full darks is very hard to hit. But if I kill this guy, I'll get some very, very nice loot. Did you H? Ooh, he didn't even eat. Right, this guy takes risks. Straight away, I like finding him, because he takes risks. So, hopefully I'll take a nice risk at the wrong time. I'm going to max on his face and kill him with full darks. Yes! That is what I was talking Why couldn't he have axed me then? I would just click Venge and probably kill him, but... Yeah. Don't eat twice. Brilliant. Uh, it'll take me 16 minutes to get yourself. I, I hit pretty well on this guy, to be fair. Not sure why, but yeah. Come on, come on, come on, hit. Don't safe, man. I can't kill you without safing. <gasps> I didn't like vengeance. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, no. Everything went wrong. Everything just went wrong. It's dagger. That didn't go wrong. Why won't this guy die? Sorry. That's not fair. I'm. Pretty frustrated. He's, this guy should have been dead by now. He should have been dead. He's very lucky though, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. Oh, I, I just have to wait for the right moment, but it's just, it, it happens a hundred times. Like right now, it's just hit, and if I hit a 210, he would have died. But it doesn't happen. So we have to just wait patiently for the right moment. Right. It's going to be a Venge combo that kills him. It will be. It just has to be, because I'm not going to... I mean, I could combo him. I could combo him, but it probably won't happen. But seriously, I'm protecting. I just realised. I said I was also going to protect. That's pretty bad. What are you doing with your life, mate? Oh, I wasn't watching my health. Doesn't matter. Come on. 307. Oh, can't hit. I have to be quiet, by the way. I, I think I said it in the last clip, but I, yeah, I did. And then it died. That's why I didn't remember if I said it. Come on. Should we just go for a one venge? Because nothing exciting to Right, he's going to eat now because he's got poison, so... Good thing I didn't venge then, because it would have been a waste of a vengeance. I'm going to save that vengeance for the, just the correct moment. There will be the correct moment for it. And this correct moment is not existing right now. Come on, slice zero. S might as well attack him again. The problem is, if I don't kill him now, I probably won't get a rematch with him, which will kind of suck. Yes, yes, that is the moment. <gasps> Don't kill. Very, very friendly. And that is some brilliant loot, which has already made this video amazingly good reason. Ah, hello there. How's it going? Okay, next fight, fighting this guy with 
Green card shield, a pistol whip, Zerk helm, and Addy gloves to top it all off. So, best of luck to this guy, Karasi. No, that's good, that's good. Don't like the look of him in the corner of my screen. And there's a gravestone. Let's get the gravestone so he's behind it. That didn't work. So that means when he dies, if he dies, that is, he goes straight into the gravestone. God, I'm so hilarious at times. I really do need to commentate properly. Anyways, let's get into this fight. So, um, blah, 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 I don't even know what to say. I'm just here, like, can't even scream, can't even commentate fun because it's late, so you get in a different kind of boaty where I can't talk and such. I'm maxed on his vengeance, so I panic brood because I'm really not in the mood to die like that again. It's happened too often today where I hit as soon as he hits on the vengeance. Come on, that was beautiful clicking right there. Nothing even worked. Did it venge or what? Maybe I should drag him. No, it didn't venge. Right, don't pull a god sword. I'm, I'm not. Yep, so he pulls a god sword, so I venge. And he hits a zero, and he hits a zero. And then my dagger hits a 72. And again. Ah, come on, dragon dagger, do something with your life. I could go. Alright, oh, he's not eating. Yes. Yes! Beautiful. Dragon 2H, you, after the whole episode, I didn't get a single D2H kill. But I can now say I'm on an 8 kill streak, so I earn a 1 million GP boost, which is going to really help me out. And yes, so give it up for a potion as well. And um, 2 kill streak. Yay, two kills streak doing so well. But yeah, sorry I can't get that lively at the moment, guys, because uh, I, I did say a couple of clips ago when I died. But yeah, thanks for that fight there, mate. So uh, people may be wondering how I'm actually going to fund the uh, one mil bonus from the thing, but pretty much I'm just going to take it from a bank. That's all I'm going to do. When I get to eight kills, just take a thousand K from the bank, and that is the bonus. So there we go. Very helpful. And I'll go back and I will probably be ending the commentary now. Also, I'd like to say that I, with the 8 kill streak, I've also unlocked myself the Granite Mall, so then I can now use that in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this episode, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, really. And considering this is a new series coming from me, I know I don't ask for likes or favourites or anything, but please, if you enjoyed this episode, please rate it appropriately to how you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy it, and even if you liked or disliked it, please leave me some constructive criticism of what I can do to improve this series. It would be much appreciated just to see if people are going to enjoy this series. So, on screen...